Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofinet and welcome back to The Witcher 3. I'm still here with my buddy Hussar after we wrapped up that great little side story about the brother... Well, the man and his missing brother. And the tale of two opposing soldiers helping each other out. Let's see what's on this tree. Or did I read that the last time around? A great many ghouls and other foul eaters of the dead prowl near the village. Our patrols will do their best to eradicate this evil. Until that task is done, avoid all travel through these lands. That seems like a lot more text than what is written here. Okay. So let's see what our next quest will be. So we'll first do a little Witcher contract by the name of The Devil by the Well. So we need to ask a man named Odolan about the contract. Here we go. Bad idea. Oh. Whoa. Okay. I can't block the blows from that weapon, apparently. Man, can I get into a... Into a place... Clumsy, but hey, curled pork can use that. No one, I'm gonna loot everything for now. Ooh, dwarven in spirit in the chest. Okay, Roach, get over here. Now we've added wolves, okay. Dog teller. Didn't I need that for something? Jeez. Okay. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, necrophage oil. Great. Yeah, we have our first oil. Useful against those ghouls, etc. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Like that. Okay, so that's a tawny owl, which increases my stamina regeneration. I think that's it. So, well, now that we're here, let's check out this place. Might as well. Fistag. Oh, wow, okay. Being shot at. How do I get up there? I'm not gonna survive that fall. So I'm not getting down up there for now, I think. 
So, skipping this. Although I will take a look in this abandoned village. So that's a dead pig. That's me not getting over stuff, apparently. The Honorable Witcher Geralt looting stuff from random destroyed villages. Okay. Wait, have I been here? I probably have them. Sounds like drivers. Come on, Roach. So I'm just gonna head towards the quests. So, back at the White Orchard, let's see if we can't find Odolan. And a merchant for that matter. Maybe the dwarf can help us out. A return customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? Mm, show me your works. Show me what you got. Let's see. So this is useless. Maybe I can dismantle those half the leather traps. Please give me an iron ingot. Okay, more in armor. No, I dismantle that for me. Oh, I might be able to sell this. I had a premium, 21. It's not that much. Maybe one of these. 96.94%. And this 78%. Let's repair it for now. So long. So now that we're all repaired, let's has head to Mr. Odolan. Hello, good sir. What are you cooking? Greetings, good man. Having trouble with your well? That's what I read. Aye. Tis haunted. Has been for a good twenty years. Twenty? So why do you put out a notice just now? Because earlier on we drew our water from the river. But so many corpses floating in it after the battle has turned noxious. My daughter Mandy drank half a pitcher. Felt dreadfully ill. Can't keep nothing down. She grows worse by the day. Herbalist claims you fight a fever with drink. And not beer nor cider, but water. Clear, pure water. And where am I to get that if not from the well? But first, the ghost's got to be driven away. And it, don't let any man near. Okay. So it seems we must be able to help this man. This ghost. Describe it for me. Well, it's awful frightening. Awful no. description. I meant what does it look like? It looks... Like a woman, but fresh from the grave. Wears a dirty dress, all rags, its skin flaking off its bones, and it howls like it's suffering. Some wraith, or maybe an alp. If you don't wallop it, master. If you don't take care of it, that is, it'll come kill me daughter. And why would that be the case? Let's haggle. I feel for you, but this is my job. 
So let's talk about my pay. Something not right with the coin. So we can uh, negotiate a higher price, but we should not push too high. Seriously? That's what I have to... Near in my life have I seen a sum approaching that. Seriously? If you could drop your price a bit, I'm sure we'd agree. Okay, so 20 it is. That settles it then. Okay, that was completely useless. But sure, I'll help you. Fine, I'll help. Where's this well? In Havel. A settlement on the heights. It's abandoned now, no one ventures there on account of the ghost being about. Drive it off. Please. I will, sir, I will. Okay, I lost the door. Sorry. There it is. And the damn horses run off again. What are you doing over there? God damn it. Come on, Roach. So if you haven't played The Witcher, there are usually lots of reasons why certain monsters inhabit certain places. I'm gonna say... So there's usually a lot of reason why a certain monster haunts a certain area. So that's what we're gonna try and find out first to know how exactly to drive the monster off. Especially since it's a spirit like it's in this case. Come on now. The infamous well. Strange. No sign of a ghost. Maybe it only shows at a certain time of day. Okay. Grass. Grass around the well scorched. Yeah, not only the grass. Or whatever that used to be. Is that a dog? Bodies dragged to a crisp. Signs of burns. All signs point to a noon wraith. A noon wraith. So we'll uh, read the entry in the bestiary about noon wraiths. Devil by the well, the residents of White Orchard had suffered more than their fair share of misfortunes. Passing armies had trampled their spring planting, the griffin had begun abducting their livestock, and the rotten icing on this painful cake, a noon wraith haunted a nearby well. No wonder the locals called this final evil a devil. The witcher could sense something bound her to this place, and that in order to send her off into the ethereal realms, he would first need to learn her secrets, as I have mentioned. Once that was done, he would have to prepare them for battle, and the Noon Raid is a demanding opponent. She can disorient her victim by blinding him and creating mirror images of herself. These copies slowly suck their victim's life energy while their mistress remains untouchable. In order to defeat her, the Witcher could not rely on his silver sword alone. The Irden sign would also be needed to trap her and force her to take on material form. So we can only damage her when she's inside our Eerden sign and Spectre Oil seems to work as well. So the entry on Noon Raid specifically. Despite what is commonly taught, peasants do not interrupt their labors at midday to get out of the sun. They do it to avoid Noon Raids. On particularly searing summer days when the soon the sun reaches its zenith, Raids will at times appear resembling sun-scorched women dressed in long white robes. These are noon raids, the spirits of young women and girls who died violent deaths right before their weddings. Driven mad with pain or anger, they wander the fields searching for their unfaithful lovers or backstabbing rivals, though they will kill anyone who does not get out of their way in time. They are often held in this world by some object of intense emotional significance. That is why, if one ever finds a wedding ring or torn veil in the middle of a field, one should not pick it up, but instead back away as quickly as possible. So we learn a few things here. So they're usually girls or women that are killed before their wedding, and they only come out at noon, at midday. Okay. Something's tied the new rape to this place. An object. Something she needs before she'll leave this world. 
Let's check these houses first. Wow, there's a lot to loot. I'll try to skip most of the looting. Because I'm gonna loot practically everything from there. Okay. There seems to be something on the other side. Oh, that worked. Mostly unusable crap, except for the water and the alchemist's supplies. Okay. Ooh. That was a nice stack. And even nicer. But nothing quest related, it seems. Wow, it's dark in here. More silver, and appears we have some clues. Black magic doll. A man, stabbed with a knife, died on the spot. Animals fed on his body, picked his skeleton clean. More blood stains over there, but it's not his blood. Probably our uh, deceased bride. She's gonna. Might be useful. Yep, we're gonna check that out first. Yeah, I get it. Uh, books. No books? Ah, quest items, okay. Wait, can I get this oil signature stuff out of here? It's happened. Volker sent a petition of our grievances against the Lord to the court at Viziba. Listed all the harm he's done to us, now he killed Johan for not taking off his cap quick enough. Now he trampled our fields when drunk with nary a thought of repayment. Now he barged in during Peter's wedding and demanded his right for the first night. Now we finally got what we begged militarily for in our prayers for so long. The judge recognized our grievances and waived all our bonds and duties to the Lord. We can finally strike out on our own. At last we can live as free men. Melitele is the one of the goddesses in The Witcher. Seems they had a bit of a grievance for their lord. Let's see the next part. The first day of our freedom. Hovels, not much of a village yet, but to my mind it's better than the most fantastic palace. Volker fumed our home with hazel wood smoke to drive out evil, bury the marten under the gate to make sure no thieves cross our threshold. And then he gave me a bracelet, loveliest I've ever seen. Mother said it's foolish to spend so much on a bauble when we haven't plows nor hoes, and that we ought to return it to the merchant, over my dead body. I'll never take it off. I'll always be there to remind me of Walker, of how happy we were that day. They say the Lord is coming to see us, that he wants to make a deal, to beg us to return to the village. They say he's calmed since his son died, that he's not as quick to anger about small slights. Well, we'll see. One way or another, I have no intention to move one inch from here. So this must be the diary of the Noon Wraith. And it seems they had some trouble with their lord. That bracelet might be what ties the woman's spirit to this place. We still don't know what happened exactly after that. Since the lord apparently blood stains barely visible someone was dragged this way someone who was still alive so that's probably done by that lord that came to see if he could negotiate a deal palm prints in blood small hands a woman's someone dragged her out she was wounded fought for her life no body in sight but might still find some tracks under the right conditions, blood stains can remain visible for decades. Another print by the well. Yeah, and it has been about was it twenty years? I hope we still can find something. Blood stains, almost faded, but the lines taut. Something's not right. 
corpse, hanged by the bucket rope. Oh. Woman the journal belonged to must be. Creepy. Wide pelvis, small jaw. A woman. Around 30, judging by the teeth. Left arms missing. Need to cremate the remains. Gotta find the object that binds her to this place before I do, though. Was she wearing the bracelet from her husband? Might be why her arm fell off. Gotta jump down there. Hope I don't break my legs. Well, indeed, let's hope there is water down there. Where's the body? Wide pelvis, oh, okay. small jaw. We know that. So. Jump. Oh, snap. So there's something on the bottom. Ornate bracelet. There you have it. There's something else here as well. More alcohol supplies. can get up over there have to take the obvious white shark route lucky not to come up empty-handed the bracelet with an inscription to Claire from Volker bracelet must have belonged to the woman in the well must have lovely craftsmanship but I'll have to burn it with the body to get rid of the noon wraith for good better do it near the well I'm guessing the rate won't like that. Puffball. Okay. We can keep diving. Hope we can get out this way. Another chest. Take everything. And then hope not to drown. Can I get up here? Whew, okay. No problem. Okay, almost out. Whew. But there seems to be another chest down there. Man, people do leave their chests everywhere in this game. Need to prepare for this fight. Brew some wraith oil, drink some potions. I don't think I have spectral oil yet. And I haven't seen these red flowers either. Honeysuckle. Let's grab that junk as well. Another empty vial. More stuff, a steel sword, and a goat hide. Let's see what we can use. Are the trousers better? Yes. The sword, so I got a steel short sword and an elf guardian long sword. I'll equip the long sword for now because I had it repaired a while back. Not that it will do me any good, since 
the rate will probably require the silver sword. Um, yeah, no spectral only yet. So let's see in the alchemy menu if I can make Spectre Oil. Spectre Oil. A single Arenaria flower. Okay. And where do I find this lovely flower? It looked white. White myrtle petals. Nope. Okay. So let's see. I can switch to that. Probably activate Gwen and bring the Tony Owl, which apparently lasts 30 seconds right in this game. I forgot about that. Okay, burn the body. Okay, that didn't sound great. And the bracelet. Igni. Since when do you say your signs are loud? Uh oh. Oh hi. I might not have prepared enough for this. Hey, I think it worked. Ah, what tipped you off? And of course, Gwen is out of the picture. Wow, okay. Okay, then go to copies. Get over here. Another urban down. Get over here. This is going surprisingly well. And there she goes. She's gone. I'm good. And that was our first successful contract. Wow. Great. So we're gonna be seeing those a lot more, I think. Let's see. What kind of a reward we're gonna get out of this? 